<laughs> go big or go home, scrub. Gotta go big or go home. Go uh -huh, you Emperor I am Hirohito. standing on Mussolini's shoulders. <laughs> go big or go home, bitch. You're standing on Mussolini's shoulders? Okay, <laughs> yeah, that exactly. might give you, like, what, two or three inches? Something like that. <laughs> because Mussolini was literally just the joke of the Axis powers. He couldn't even conquer Ethiopia. Wow. Oh, okay. that's hilarious. That's a legitimate thing. He claimed to have conquered Ethiopia, but they put up such a valiant and effective resistance fight that they never held any actual power in Ethiopia. Ethiopia fought off Italy the entirety of World War II, and then they fought off the Nazis, too. Oh, that's badass. That's amazing. It's, it's like how in that video, uh, the history of the world, I guess, the rest of the European powers said, hey, let's see who can rape Af Africa the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. And nobody has gotten <laughs> Ethiopia since. <laughs> Ethiopia refuses to be, to be got. It's it just, will not get got. You cannot touch no, got, us. No, got you, can, you cannot got. One they did like, not simply got Ethiopia. I feel like they did a reverse Uno on got him. They're all, I, they like, they're very fervent, like, a lot of the things that inspires them is that they have a very, like, rich, like, Christian heritage to their people, because they were one of the first, they were actually the first kingdom, like, the first, like, monarchy or any kind of power to adopt Christianity as, like, the state religion. Just, not before God. Rome, like, a full 300 years before Rome ever did. And every single time they're like, God gave us this land. We are descendants of King Solomon. This is our land. You want it. You can have it when we're dead. You want okay. this land, you're going to have to pray it for my cold, dead fingers. <laughs> okay, when will you be dead? When all of us are dead. How many of there <laughs> of you are there? All of us. Enough. <laughs> Enough. Have you ever seen a ch chad? What's a chad? It's a lake. You're about to find out. <laughs> they literally, that's my favorite thing over in Africa. They call the lake Ch lakes chads. They do? Yes, they call them chads. They are called oh chads. Oh my god, that, that's awesome. So now we need fan art of a water man, a man made out of water that is just called Chad. I might actually Ultimate that. African energy. Ultimate <laughs> African energy. <laughs> oh. You thought King Shaka Zulu was ultimate Africa energy. Man, you haven't met Chad. <laughs> you know, I could easily what make a pony character based off of that theme. Okay. Uh... That'd be a perfect zebra reference right there. I want to see if I can find, like, because I know that some people clip things, but I want to see what was clipped. I always go to that because I want to see what people, like, what moments people liked. I'm, I, I will I will forever be proud that, like, in the first two rows of your top clips of all time, the You're Not Touching Him Boy is oh, firmly nestled in the second. That was so fucking gold, man. <laughs> you, my, yeah. uh, your fucking dying uh, laughter is what I started to laugh at the most. Like, first I'm frustrated, and then afterwards I'm like, that fucking laugh, Jesus. I bring the comedy. I am comedy. I have a right. Are you, I guess that means you're a big fucking joke, then. Oh, you know it. Oh, dang. Uh, no, you you don't even know the half of it. Back at back at my house, my like my childhood home, I went home to visit, and my cousin was like, "So the top uh, the top part of the house is your mom's domain," and I'm like, "Yeah, that's her domain. The basement is the forbidden land. She doesn't go there." And he's like, "That's because that's where the clown lives, right?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, you know it." <laughs> I'm aware that I am a joke. Beep beep, Richie. Beep beep. Beep beep, Richie. I am Lucy. You hear all like squeaking over here, and I, I can tell he like, does not like it. I feel like I need to get a prescription inhaler just for these streams. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna no. feel bad about it. Hey, Blissy. Oh my god. Do you want to make a rainbow? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess Every I time want I... to make a rainbow. Okay, cool. Here's some Skittles. Have fun. Yeah, wait, no, 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 not the Skittles. Fuck your Skittles. You know I hate Skittles, Solar. Come on, man. 
Uh, no, you're getting Skittles. No, I don't want to Skittles. The store. You know, I hate I Skittles. Is, Sell it. Sell it is now. there any other candy whose motto is literally taste the rainbow? Oh, I'm being pro. Coming, coming, oh, no. You're I'm getting Skittles. I don't want the Skittles. The I don't like Skittles. <laughs> I, I went to the store to buy some Skittles, Skittles, but I didn't pay for like them. It. Oh my god, stop it. came up to me <laughs> and was like, what that? I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> no touch it. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> and I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your skittles, love, have them. I you can have them. I love that TikTok. Yay. That TikTok is one of my favorites. <laughs> the skittles TikTok Yay. is just. <laughs> Fuck your skittles! I don't even want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> then why did you steal them? Pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Motherfucking skittles. <laughs> Wait, what? If you don't like uh, Skittles my head and you don't want to pay so for Skittles, you know what you could have done? You could have no. not stolen the Skittles. I didn't steal a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you took them with the intention of not paying for them. I didn't want to! I didn't take them! Then why did you steal them? I didn't want them! <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. I didn't steal them, I swear! I don't know what you're yeah, talking you about, man! Uh, I mean... Uh, I want to die. <laughs> and no. You should have paid for your Skittles. <laughs> Fuck your Skittles. <laughs> I grabbed my arm and I was like, don't touch me. me? <laughs> I love that video. I'm, I'm going to go kill myself. No. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna go drink some bleach. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't say I blame you. Ellie, where would be where would we be without your savage uh savage personality? I don't know. You seem to have been functioning just fine with uh for the last few weeks. <laughs> then again, I did. Then again, my return did bring the laugh party. So. Uh, ever like since the sometimes. Skittle cookie incident, I will never eat Skittles. You had a Skittles cookie. I, think the I had a Skittle oh. co cookie incident. We are we don't we don't we don't do the Skittle cookies anymore. We've already oh. been shared this story so many times. Bliss, you'll yeah, have to not inform doing him it. At, like at another time. Yeah, another I time. Feel yeah. Like I feel like I'm so out of the loop. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you another time, yeah. or I'll pee, or I'll talk about it in the stream chat. But right now, I'm an ark and I'm trying to build a treehouse. I saw it. I saw it, samurai. I'm, I'm not, I'm not enthusiast. I'm not a chocolate enthusiast. I'm also not a s'mores enthusiast. So like, it looked good, but I don't want it. I'll take it a little chocolate. I I'm not a fan of chocolate either. To be perfect, I'm, I'm, I'm a chocolate. Sweet tooth. I'm, I'm a chocolate. Oh uh, yeah, no, I'm also a chocolate. I don't eat. I don't really eat candy. Yeah. I'm both. I'm like I'm both a sugar holic and a coffee. Uh, a coffee holic. A coffee addict. Coffee addict. That's coffee the addict. Term. Problem I, I like. God. I like coffee if I can't taste the coffee. Oh, uh, so you like you have a lot of cream in yours, huh? A lot of cream and a lot of sugar. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying Speaking to get... my language. You know, you know, samurai. If, if when it comes to oh, Papa Murphy, do you mean Papa John's? What? Me, and the like guy who said the N word got anyway, fired from his own company. When it comes to like um, fast food desserts, I'll take like Papa John's cinnamon pull apart every single time. That because that shit's fucking delicious. You know, like, coffee I... only has one use, and that's to give you caffeine. So if ever I drink coffee, I just drink it straight black. Damn, yeah. you got you sound like dude. you got tough skin, man. Because every you sound time like my grandfather. Cause like I like I'm I used to be one of those people who put cream and sugar in my coffee, but now I'm trying to like adjust to drinking coffee uh, just with either half and half or just milk. If I just drink and it no sugar, water. yeah, and like no sugar, and then at one Science, point, I, how do you prepare? At one how point, do you prepare I, your coffee. I do have to prepare to like drink a like coffee straight. No, not doing it. The, I, it the last. For the caffeine, you go on I, for four hours. 
Science, how do you prepare your coffee? How do you make your coffee? You. Boil it, you pour it in a cup, you drink it. You gotta make it in a pot. You gotta make it in a pot on top of a fire. Steer rail like the old the pioneers old used way. to. That's why my mean, grandfather used to do it. I he mean, would me, literally uh, wake up in the morning. Just go ahead, Bliss. Um Yeah, yeah, me and you, we used to put a lot of sugar in our coffee, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Trying to do better. Like, now, I, my tactic is, I don't know if you've ever tried this, but I just use heavy cream, which is better for you, the natural heavy cream or uh, half and like, half. Yeah, um, I actually looked at the um, nutrition facts. I, I was surprised about it. Uh, half and half has only one gram of sugar. Yeah, my mom taught, told me that little trade secret. So I use half and half or heavy cream with uh, agave. Agave syrup, sorry. Agave syrup, it's a natural uh, sugar from a plant. Um, it's not processed. It's not sugar cane. Body processes it easier. It's super sweet, too. Like, you don't need a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, but lately, I discovered something in the coffee aisle because I realized we were out of coffee cups. Yeah. And uh, I discovered that there is... Um, flavored syrups in the coffee aisle um, yeah. that they have yeah. no sugar, Almost. no fat, no nothing. And they make it. But they have. Yeah. yeah, they taste like hazelnut, vanilla, and I think there was raspberry. Interesting. S'mores, s'mores, salted caramel. I used to work in a college bee shop. Bliss? We use these all the time. Um, whatever this is, Bliss, tell me like mm -hmm. in the DMs, and then I can just like look it up at a like. Use it like on mobile and like see what I can find at a store and try it out because this call me curious of the, uh, on this one. Yeah, because that's the one thing that killed me about my coffee in the mornings. It really didn't have any flavor other than the coffee, which I don't mind. Coffee flavor is good too. <laughs> it's just when you taste it afterwards, you have a bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Mm, bitter aftertaste good for you. It puts hair on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. that'll th this will put lead in your pencil, kid. <laughs> Science, you, know what truly puts, science, you know what truly puts hair on your chest? 320% unfiltered black tar heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy crap. What? If you survive, you're going to be a much manlier man than you were going in. You realize that's not hair, right? That's just like the heroin kind of squeezing you out of you like a Play-Doh mold. Just sort of... <laughs> <laughs> Black tar heroin go! <laughs> and then you just die. You just keel over and you start screaming. Uh, this has been a hilarious stream. Um, because with so much like savage callbacks, well, I think one of the most proud moments is when I come back just in time to crack a cold one and I'm playing the fucking Superman theme. <laughs> I call Bliss Bliss Luther. Mm -hmm. Bliss mm. Luther? What? D did you not catch that? Oh my god. <laughs> we did not catch that at all. No, I did not. I'm an arc. What did like, I miss? It took like three death. hours. Yeah. I swear to god. I swear to god, you're deaf. I'm not deaf. I'm focused. I called you're you Bliss Luther, Luther as a reference to Lex Luther. Why? Because of the burp contest, it was a dumbass. challenge. Oh. I was playing the Superman theme, and I was like, "I accept your challenge." Oh, that's what that tone was when it got cut off. Okay, I missed that. Oh, no, no, okay, okay. I have a question. Yeah, Bliss, have you ever stolen cakes? Have you stolen? No. You have you ever stolen forty cakes? That's yeah, as no. many as four times ten, and that's no. terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> and it's canon, apparently. It it's canon. It's canon. It is Actual, canon. Actually fact. I can't believe they made that canon. It was a freaking blurb at the back of a comic. I mean, hey, if you have to make anything canon, make it that Lex Luthor literally has one of his schemes to get, you know, ooh, I'm gonna get Superman with Steel 40 Cakes. Oh, it's not like I can't just go to the local supermarket and buy some cake mix and just make more cake. 
Or even, it's fucking Lex Luthor. He can snap his fingers and have, like, 40 private chefs each bake one. Yes, exactly. Right? But he was like, oh, I'm gonna steal these 40 cakes from uh, the bake sale. <laughs> this sounds like a plot I from mean, one of the later Superman sequels. It sounds so true. dumb. It's canon. It's canon, I mean, man. It's a blur at the back of one of the comics Jesus from the old comics. It's really stupid. <laughs> it's to, dumb. To be fair... I mean, that's a pretty good way to lure out Superman. Oh no, Lex Luthor is bullying children. <laughs> <laughs> Taking their birthday cakes away. <laughs> I, I mean, just imagine what Lex so like Superman would turn that down. I just I just like imagining now Lex Luthor in his like purple jumpsuit running up to a kid's birthday party, shoving the kid over and just grabbing the cake well, and I then think... scurrying away. <laughs> ah no, I'll get through Superman. <laughs> Batman's just sitting there like looking at Superman this is your arch enemy <laughs> my arch enemy poisons water supplies that that supply a whole city he just steals cake from children I mean to his credit he tried to create like his own place by bombing California that's true <laughs> that's hey, his okay do you remember the time that Lex That's Luthor got him. shot in the head by a 50 caliber sniper rifle and then fell 30 feet, broke his neck, and somehow survived? Oh, what? yeah, and the one that shot him was a fucking gorilla. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. The only... He went to his animal, his uh, an android girlfriend. Okay, his android just... lowest layer? I'm just going to tell you, I'm just going to say right now, the only knowledge of Superman that I know of is when watching the first two Superman movies and knowing a little bit of the unfortunate reality that is Superman for the quest for peace. God damn, mm. that one was complete. That is the Batman and Robin of the Superman movies. It was embarrassing. Yes. That, that's the one with Nuclear Man? Yeah, the one with Nuclear I Man. I will hurt people. You know, something I've been thinking of doing, talking about Batman and Robin, I've been thinking about making a video about why I like Batman and Robin, because I like just watching the glorious train wreck that is that movie. Mr. Freeze. And all of its it's a bunch of <laughs> bunch of one-liners they are it's a bunch of one-liners and you also get to look at george clooney's ass the entire time i mean Some not wrong cool but unfortunate <laughs> double standard of batgirl's freaking suit like they have a gorgeous ass but they don't detail the nipples yeah why is that why do the dudes have to show off nip why does batman and robin have to show off nip but 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 batgirl gets away with not having to show nip okay see I was talking about plot bullshit, like Poison Ivy being defeated by being kicked into a plant. And that was dumb. on top of that. Why was Bane an idiot? Yeah, no, they wanted to make him this, like, this mindless, like, muscle man. Yeah. Because it just, it, it's see, the same that's... trope they did with Nam in Superman 2. Yeah, but see, it... It's just such stupid, piled upon stupid, that it's just funny for me to watch. So it's... I really like watching the movie, and I was, and I keep thinking about making a video talking about why people should watch this. It's, it's infuriating for me to watch Bane because I'm like, Bane no, no, figured Bane's out the worst part of that movie. Bane figured out who Batman was in a month, and then over the course of the next month and a half ruined Batman's life to a point that he was able to break into the Batcave and then break Batman's back. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about no, the... Bane's a... Bane's, Bane's smart. You talking Bane's about the Dark Knight super Rises? super smart. Yeah, he's smart as shit. The fuck? The oh, yeah, Dark, no. Knight Rise, Dark Knight Rises was based off of a comic book story arc called Nightfall, where yeah. Bane not only figured out that Bruce Wayne was Batman, but released every single inmate in Arkham to strategically weaken Batman because he went running around capturing all of these people from Arkham to the point where he was exhausted, broke into the Batcave, and then broke his back. Yeah, this is, can this is canon in the comics. Oh yeah, no, I'm was, very, I'm very well aware of that. Easily, yeah, it's, like it's Bane easily is one of the easily. most brilliant. Yeah, yeah no, it, it was always said that Bane was the man who broke the bat. Yes, yeah, Bane is Bane is one of the smartest villains in DC, and I hate that they went, oh, he's big, strong, he's With dumb. It's like no opposite in Batman. No, I, like I can censor mm -hmm. Pain right there because changing him for the sake of like whatever '90s tropes there were was just so insulting. That's yeah, the problem. When they made this in the '90s, that was when Bane was at his best. He had broken the bat. He won. He won. Oof. 
And then he yeah. did fucking one! Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> about the only oh, time... Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, I was just... I was gonna ask a little bit. Go ahead. Now, about the only time that Bane being stupid has worked that I've seen has been the Harley Quinn series, but only because that series is fucking bullshit. It knows it's bullshit, and, and it, it runs with bullshit. it. Yeah. It's funny, though. Mm-hmm. And that show is fucking funny. Yeah. It is. I, I love the meta commentary they did for that one episode where it's the two dudes in the basement and they're like, the latest episode of Harley Quinn, and they go over and he's like, oh god, fine, I guess we'll watch this. But if this episode sucks, we're watching Family Guy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Yeah. Oh, this meta show, commentary. Show great. Oh, great. Desert Samurai, great. I don't know. Batman Forever, like... Despite how stupidly written it was, I did enjoy Jim Carrey as uh, the fucking Riddler. Oh, that was Jim funny. Carrey as the Riddler I, was. Pretty on the good. contrary, I didn't like Two Face. Like seeing Tommy Lee Jones, Jones act, you see Tommy Lee Jones act like a goofball just felt off-putting for me. And yeah. especially when you think, and especially when you take into account his what he said about Jim Carrey after working on that movie. Oh yeah, no, like I heard oh, that he was say? an asshole. Shut up. Oh. I had no idea. No, oh. he said he said he doesn't like Jim Carrey and doesn't like working with him because he's too much of a goof. Why not? Well, um, I guess he didn't see Cable Guy yet. <laughs> I guess not. Oh my god, Cable Guy. Yeah, no, because there's still that one scene that cable I remember. Guy. No, I remember when I was a kid and I saw that scene. It was like shown on HBO. It's when Matthew Broderick's character is having a nightmare. Jim Carrey breaks down the door and his eyes are glowing green. And <laughs> it also didn't help that when he was chasing Matthew, they're playing this weird organ music. I am here to solve. Oh God! They really did. They really did a lot to make that character fucking creepy. Oh yeah, no, they fucking did. And it wouldn't be until later on that he would be appreciated for having a dark side of him, like in 23 and shit. Mm-hmm. But no, back to, it's um... Just... Go ahead. No, I, I wasn't saying anything important. No, but back to, um... Back to freaking Superman. Like, at least I can find some funny shit about Batman and Robin, but Superman 4 is just a kick in the nuts. Yes. It's going to get rid of all Its the morals are fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> like... Like, fucking kal goes to get rid of the nuclear weapons. Like, no, that's not the answer. Uh, it you was... know when he did do that? He did that he in... Did... What? He did that in Injustice. When he went crazy and mm-hmm. became Super Hitler. <laughs> God, that... that's accurate. You know what? That would have been... If that were the plot of Superman 4, I would have been down for it. That moment when a fighting game has a better has a better plot than a fucking Hollywood movie. <laughs> no, um, as far as the rest of the Superman movies go, just watch the first two, or at least just the first, and that's it. Yeah, no. uh, they kind of go downhill movie. after it's the first, the first one. one. Um, oh no, Nuclear Man scratched me. I'm getting old. I'm going to take this crystal and get you. <laughs> the dumbest Deus Ex Machina I've ever seen. No, do, okay, like, every Superman movie had a Deus Ex Machina. Like, at the end of the first movie, Lois Lane dies, kal gets pissed, and what he does? He fl- he spins the Earth backwards to reverse time, which is not logically possible, but it's just a fucking cop-out. And here's what stings more. In production of Superman 2, uh, Richard Donner was fired, and whatever was left over, Richard Lester was hired to take care of the rest of the second movie. And in contrast, there was the Richard Donner cut of how he wanted it done. And how he had it done, he did the same thing. He had kal turn uh, turn back time, undo all the shit, including when Lois Lane found out that Clark Kent was Superman. It's the same just... repetition, and it's just it's just another goddamn... Oh, God. It's another bleach. It is. It's another yeah. Deus Ex Machina. And it's just, you know, I'd much rather watch the theatrical version. I haven't seen Superman 3, nor am I planning to. Just, See, watch, the, just it... watch the first one. 
DC mm -hmm. doesn't do well with movies and with live stuff in general. Oh, it's they're, they're, they're much stuff. they're yeah. Mu they're, yeah with them just yeah. it's generally was, better to stick to animated. I, well, I also the... also also Warner Brothers is kind of at fault there because Warner Brothers interfered with the production of what Richard Donner was doing, and at the same time, after the major success of Batman Forever, Warner Brothers got so eager to make another Batman movie that they pushed and pressured the people in production of Batman and Robin and pressured rush had them rush through. That's why the movie was terrible. Mm -hmm. Like nobody on the set enjoyed the film. Like Chris O'Donnell, who was um Robin and Batman Ro Forever, he's mm -hmm. he said in an interview somewhere, and this was a hilarious choice of words, um that when I was playing Robin and Batman Forever, I was playing Robin. When I was playing Robin and Batman and Robin, I was it felt like I was filming for a toy commercial. Sounds accurate. Yeah. Whoa. And not to mention um Joel Schumacher, he's he straight up apologized. Like my job is to entertain people. George Clooney, he actually apologized too. Oh, like almost everybody, yeah. they're like they were there, all ashamed. Yeah, there was just no love for that movie on set, as far as I am aware. I mean, I did hear that Arnold Schwarzenegger enjoyed being Mister Freeze. Well, well Mister Freeze was campy as. Oh, he movie. was. Oh yeah, he was. I'm gonna be honest. How could you, if you were Mr. Freeze in that movie, how could you not enjoy it? <laughs> he was clearly having the most fun out of everyone. There. All right, everyone, chill, oh, chill. He, he knew he, it was stupid as hell and just decided. He to chill. Like he. To be fair, you could have smiled on that set. And you would have been having the most fun. All right. So Desert Samurai says this. I hated Batman Forever because of Batman killing Two-Face after telling Robin that getting revenge isn't the right way to go, so Robin can't kill yeah. someone. The... Okay, I can see the hypocrisy there, but at the same time, mm -hmm. how Two-Face died, it, he, he kind of like, he was tricked, and he fell to his death. Didn't he fall in that pool of acid? He uh, fell into a, a bed of rocks. A bed of rocks that were like super sharp. Ouch. And Batman threw a bunch of coins at him, and he yeah. fell off the beam. Now, see, the coin thing is something that has been used against Two Face many times throughout DC media. But the reaction he has is always the same, no matter what. He flails, he gets, he goes scrambling, and he starts panicking. So having him do it on a narrow ass beam was going to kill him. Yeah, and Bat, there's no way Batman didn't know that. Yeah. No. But I can I can see where Desert's coming from in the hypocrisy part of the message. Oh no, that was absolutely hypocritical. It was. Personally, I'm I'm like after like they revealed like who here saw Batman versus Superman. I, uh, I have fucking refused to watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you know, I fair. To the train okay, so in Batman versus Superman, there is a Robin's suit hanging up that has ha ha jokes on you Batman spray painted on it implying that the Joker has killed a Robin a la death in the family mm -hmm. Ooh. you would assume that it's Jason Todd the Robin who was killed by the Joker right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Batman vs. Superman in the, in the current DC cinematic universe the Robin that was killed by Joker was Dick Grayson which makes me really fucking angry. That's fucking stupid. And, no, Which, that's me, and it's extraordinarily inconsistent. Because they wanted to do a Nightwing movie, but how can you do Nightwing if Dick Grayson is already dead? Yeah. They can. Uh, if, they, if they try and do it with one of the other ones, then it just anyone it who does, hasn't lost hope will. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work! Because Jason Todd needed to die for him to become the Red Hood, to become the outcast of the Bat family, to become the violent one, the one that sometimes they need to wrangle in. Then, Jason Todd turning into that violent individual is what led to Batman accepting Tim Drake, because Tim Drake realized that Batman needed a Robin. Batman needed somebody to keep him grounded, in which led to Tim Drake becoming literally the best Robin to ever don the mantle. It's a chain of events. By that killing, needs to happen. By killing Dick Grayson, you just ruin everything. 
You have to get rid of everything that Batman has ever gone through, ever. As if the DC, as if the modern DC universe wasn't already in shambles as is. I mean, I've looked at Man of Steel, and oh my God, there's so mm-hmm. many things like mm-hmm. there are no. things that I like no. about it, but uh, it's frustrating at what the final result is. Jesus imagery is heavy in that movie. It's really depressing Jesus. when you look at the fucking DC movies, with the exception of I think like two. Because it always seems to be they're trying to be too edgy, or they're trying to chase Marvel, or they're just shitting on their own legacy. I mean, no, Wonder Woman. The thing, the thing is, it a lot of it is probably Warner Brothers. Yeah, yes, a lot, of, no. it, a lot I mean, of it is the studio's interference. Yeah, because of the interference with the production of Superman two and the rush production of Batman and Robin. Mm-hmm. And they did the same thing with Justice League. And- I'm don't want to go see the Snyder cut. Because, yeah, I was going to say, don't put Zack Snyder in charge of a comic book movie ever again. He's good. It's yeah, not no. his... He's too. He's yeah. too much of style over substance. And in terms of comic book characters, you need to balance out your substance and actually like utilize the lore to help project relatively it's, to the modern audience. It's not even that. The way he looks at these stories does not match the way people look at comic book tales. Because he, one of the things that he said that I didn't get mad at him for, but I'm just, well, I kind of did. But in hindsight, I'm just like, okay, you really just need to not work with comics anymore. You need to accept that Batman kills people. Just like sometimes. You're right. He said that on a live interview. It's like, oh yeah, Batman doesn't kill. Here's a question. Because I've seen this happen in the original Superman movies. Uh, how do you feel about the ending of uh, Man of Steel when Kal-El kills off Zod? There has been instances where Superman has killed off an opponent, and it's something that always weighs on him, especially in Man of Steel. This is him still forming, being, is is still his formative years. And I had to write a paper about this for, uh, for high school. Um, <laughs> Superman killing Zod at the end of Man of Steel is a what helps build him into the man of steel he realizes that with all of this power all of this responsibility that he has he is literally a god walking amongst men and the only thing that can challenge him is other godlike beings and he was able to kill one of them one that was supposedly better than he was a born soldier that would have broken anybody any lesser man after doing that would have just collapsed in on themselves the moral and the moral and like you know psychological ramifications of that would have absolutely shattered a normal person and we see that when he screams in pain he didn't want to do that that ripped him apart okay Uh see i thought it was the only one who didn't have an issue with that scene because Everybody made a big fuss about it, and I'm like, um, didn't Superman do the same thing in Superman 2 by switching the capsule yeah. around and completely um, mortalizing Zod, Nam, and Ursa? No, yeah. the, thing, the thing is, it's how the character, it's how the character reacts to these, scenar- to these situations. And also, don't justify your gruesome murder fetish. If you want to direct a Punisher movie, direct a Punisher movie. Yeah. (laughs) Like, a great example of Superman resolving that he has to kill something to protect people is his fight with Doomsday in the Death of Superman comic book. Oh, God, I've heard a lot about that. He... I've what? seen it. Yeah, no, I've read it. it it's a, it's brutal. He realizes he that the only his... way to stop Doomsday is to kill him. There is no other option. You can't negotiate. You can't reason. Doomsday needs to die. And in that instant, when he was fighting Zod, it was the exact same scenario. Zod couldn't be reasoned with. He couldn't be persuaded. He needed to die. The, it's, it's just, there was no choice. Which is probably why they should have saved that for Death of Superman instead of using that that early. They here's what they should have done. They should have done Justice League and in, in like introduced all the other Justice Leaguers and then done the Death of Superman arc because one of the things that weighed on the other Justice Leaguers he, the heaviest was that they could not stop Doomsday and because of that Superman died because of their failures because they were not strong enough. 
that weighed heavy on a lot of the Justice Leaguers' minds. Imagine, yeah. if you will, the Flash, the normal, you know, energy of the group, the happy, the the go lucky, the 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 light, constantly going the over how he time. wasn't fast. Yes, how he wasn't fast enough to save Superman. If he had been a little bit out. faster. In the in the beginning of that very fucking comic, he, Doomsday fucks up like eighty percent of the Justice League with one hand bodies behind them. his back. Bodies them. Absolutely one hand bodies them and fucking absolutely just floors eighty percent of them. Superman is literally the only one that is not just immediately taken out of the fight as soon as they go against each other. Even Martian Manhunter, who is one of the beings on Earth that Superman has stated he is afraid of fighting, gets bodied by Doomsday. That is a threat that you just can't reason with. That is something that you need to kill. Mm -hmm. Mm. The only person that I can think of that would possibly be the only thing that could stop Doomsday permanently would be the Presence. That's it. That's it. God. It would literally have to be God. Just God going, oh, you don't exist anymore. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate Thanos thing. Yep, just go on. Goodbye. You you don't exist anymore. Get out of here. I'm sorry. No, this I don't is understand. Least... Go ahead. I don't understand why Dr. Fate didn't just do that, because he could have done that. Yeah, because Dr. Fate could have just gone, uh, the, the law and order, you're, you're ruining the balance. Chaos is too much. Uh, get out. Uh, would have solved that right there. Dr. Fate was probably off dicking around with fucking Nabu or some shit. <laughs> he was fucking uh, around the helmet. You know, while we're talking about the, the, you know, comic books and such, Robin and I actually did go on a short tirade on how stupid, um, like, in terms of its plot convenience of... Because how both the Superman movies, like Man of Steel and the original Superman is that Krypton is about to be destroyed because the sun was going to go supernova. But as Jor-El tries to explain it, in the original, no one believes him despite the fact that he is a very, very intelligent scientist. In Man yep. of Steel, he says, no, everybody's already dead at this point, despite the fact that they have fucking spaceships. It's just... Oof. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. The Kryptonian Council was just hit with the idiot stick for the sake of plot convenience to get super uh to get Kala launched to earth they, yep. you know what's really dumb they handled that shit so much better in the animated series yes, they did. where where brainiac was actively interfering with the data because brainiac's an asshole <laughs> kind of a big piece of shit kind of um a dick yeah, Big but see, they handled that so much better. And this cartoon got it right. Why couldn't you in Hollywood with all your money and brains? Yes, that's oh, yeah, Snyder and Christopher Nolan. Thing. Like, you got all this big Hollywood budget and all these professional writers, and you can't figure out interfere with data, make him seem, dis make him seem uncredible in this. Well, hey. The reason why the animated stuff for DC is so great is because Bruce Timm is literally a god amongst men. <laughs> you're not wrong. Bruce yeah. Timm. Oh just, my god. Bruce Timm just walks out to what into one area and just says, "I will make the greatest t the r greatest cartoons based on superheroes ever." How will you do that, Tim? You will watch. <laughs> and then you have Static Shock, you will Justice me. League, Justice League Unlimited, Superman the animated series, Batman the animated series. It's like watch, and he snaps his fingers, and then there's watch a whole me. universe. And snapping his watch finger, me. I'm about ready to end the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting yeah, really it's late. Getting Dude, it's snapping been all over the place about fucking comic books and shit. Like, oh, like okay, it's superhero good stuff. conversation. Though. It, it is a good conversation, good. but my knowledge only comes from the movies. Um, you and, need to, I, you need to get red, dude. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, Thank you for sticking around, and hopefully next week I can finish off Time Spinner. Like, the game's going on for a while, but I'm still enjoying it. Like, it's rewarding when I find something new. <gasps> it but, seems to have been a good series so far. It seems like a good it, game. I'm it, gonna have to pick is. it up. It is. Um, but yeah, um... I've been talking about everything except the game that's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, take care. 
Wash your fucking hands. <laughs>